Hi, this is Sue Burke. I'm here with Louie. Welcome to my YouTube video. I admit that I'm very new at this, so forgive my mistakes as we go along. These are my technical mistakes, not mistakes about the science. The superglue identification method is has been in use since 1978. Uh, cyanoacrylate, also referred to as superglue, is an effective tool used by investigators to develop latent fingerprints. Heat it to cause the reaction to go more quickly, but essentially a cyanoacrylate needs to be a gas. It then reacts with the oils, amino acids that were taken from my fingerprints and put onto the glass, and they form a crystal, and then the print can be lifted and identified. So what we're going to do is put the cyanoacrylate and the glass in a closed environment and just let it work its own magic overnight instead of heating it because that's dangerous uh, to do at home. It's very flammable. So I've taken the Reynolds wrap and put it in a little cup and added a couple cotton balls and now we'll squeeze some of this onto the cotton. We will now cover that up, safety first, and put this in the bag with the glass. Seal it up. and wait for the reaction. You can do this, say on a doorknob, if you wanna know who was in your room while you were gone, just take the baggie, put it over the knob, add the cyanoacrylate in a cup, and close it up around your doorknob a few hours, and you'll know who the perpetrator is. So we're gonna check back in a couple hours. It's been a few hours, so let's take our glass out, you can see, not very well, so I'll take it out. You can see that there definitely was a reaction, and we can see fingerprints. I'll put a darker background on that. Okay, there we go. That one has some decent definition. Oh, maybe it's on this side. There we go. Anyway, we can use our technique with the cocoa and the tape and lift these and compare them to our fingerprint database. And figure out who grabbed that glass. Success! For instructions on how to create a fingerprint database, check my website at www. SusanBurkeCook.com. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching my video. I'm sure as time goes on, my technical skills will improve, but certainly you can see that this science experiment works and it'll be lots of fun to do at home. Thanks.